<laughs> you know, when I was looking you up and I was getting ready for the podcast, I'm like, okay, catering business through COVID. Okay, that was hell. I'm sure they're doing hell. I'm looking at that. And then I'm looking over here and I'm like, wait a minute. They also bought like a an event center, like that that nobody could go to during right. COVID. So they so they got a catering business and suffering, and then they're investing in a building. I'm like, okay, yeah. uh, <laughs> damn, they've been yeah, through some stuff no, here. it was a tough year. When you talk about last summer, <laughs> sure, we looked at throwing in the towel. That was definitely one of the <laughs> options on the table. I mean, we put all the cards out there and tried to see what what made sense, and a lot of real deep heart level conversations that Anthony and I had to have. And then we also had to have some really deep heart level conversations with our team, you know, because we're like, look, if we're going to do this, we're we're doing it because of you and with you, right? Like we wouldn't be able to build out a new facility and add an event center and all of these things if, if it wasn't for our incredible team, right? Like they're the fuel that allows us to be able to do this. It's not, it is not just me. It's not just my husband. It's it's not just our 40 years in business and our reputation. It's like the team that is in it day to day, making it happen, creating those experiences mm. that allows us to continue to grow. And we wanted to do it for them to create more opportunities. We have managers that have been with us for 15 years. So how do I get them excited to stay for 15 more years? You know, how do I get them? How is this like their forever home? And so it's creating opportunity. Oh, 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 o